President Adama Barrow has finally arrived in the capital, Banjul, a week after being sworn into power in neighboring Senegal. He's been waiting for the all clear from a regional military force after former leader Yahya Jame fled into exile on Saturday. Ahmed Idris joins us on the phone now from Banjul. What can you tell us about Barrow's arrival? Well, Banjul is in a celebratory mood. He arrived more than two hours ago, but up to now, it, is, it has taken him more than two hours to cover two kilometers from the airport on his way to, who, to, to his personal residence. Uh, thousands, tens of thousands of people were there at the airport and much more on the streets of Banjul to catch a glimpse of someone who they regard as a national leader, someone they expect so much to do, uh, to, so, so much from him uh, in terms of fixing this country that has gone through so much in the last 20, 22 years. So here at his residence, uh, dozens of people are lined up amid tight security to catch a glimpse of Adam Aparo. Uh, drums are beating, people are dancing, and everybody here is joyous that the national president is here. And what are the challenges for Adama Barra now? The army had a very close relationship with his predecessor, Yaya Jame. How much of a problem could that be? Well, that is a key issue that needs to be addressed very quickly. For decades, for two decades, Yaya Jame built the military and the security apparatus around him. It's more like serving one person rather than serving a nation. And that's the complaint I heard from Hussein uh, Dabo leader of the opposition now who is who is currently the leader of the national coalition and that needs to be fixed according to Dabo and other figures in gambia and also the economy which is in tatters now uh this is a country that depends so much on revenues from tourists and most of them have kept away over the last few months or so so this needs to be addressed and then there is the issue of uh, employment youth employment creating jobs for millions or rather hundreds of thousands of youth in this country who have nothing to do. And this is very, very crucial to the success of Adam Abaro. There is also the issue of uh, fixing government institutions that have been uh, built around or built to serve the idea of governance of one person, Yaya Jami. And so all these need to be taken care of. Another issue of reconciliation as well as uh, trying to make fences between him and uh, members of the opposition or people who are now in the opposition. All right, thank you very much, Ahmed Idris, bringing us the latest from Gambia, where the new president has arrived in the capital. As much